So I thought I would share with you a quick kind of like how do I apply my toppers uh, when I wear them to work or when I wear a topper in general. And the one that I have on my head right now is a Raquel Welch. It's part of the Transformations collection. And um, this is actually called Chameleon. And this is in the shade Golden Wheat SSS 14 slash 88. And on my head, I have a bun, a hair wrap. And this is a Casual Do from Hairdo. And this is just a, uh, a bun that I put on my head to create a messy look. I wear the buns in many different ways right now. I just have it clipped in a big clip and I have it really messy because that's kind of like how I like it. So I have it clipped in a big clip and I have my hair hanging out and I have bobby pins attaching this and I wanted to have the hair coming out. My topper is on, obviously on the top of my head, right, my topper. So what I do sometimes to blend in my roots or, um, you know, any of the hair around the top of my head is, and I happen to like this color. This is Wow. So this yeah. is Color Wow Root Cover Up, and I have it in light brown. You can see it. And I take a little brush, and I just tap it in into the powder. And you can actually use any kind of a powder if you want. You can use eyeshadow. I've used eyeshadow. I've used brow pencil. I've used any kind of uh, a, sh a shadow that I like. But I really like the color Wow. And I just, I just like the color. It's a perfect match for my hair. So I'm going to take this off so you can see. And then I'll show you exactly how I attach it. First of all, I'm going to take my combs out. I usually have to put a comb in and I'm going to take my clip off and because I have bobby pins holding this on I just took this bobby pins off so you can see just what this is right a messy messy bun look I happen to love this now I'm going to take out the elastic there we go and you can see what I have on my head is just my topper. Now, probably because of the Transformations collection, I'm going to undo my little clips. Because of the Transformation collection, the way it is, the um, oops. <laughs> looks pretty, huh? Um, oh my gosh. This, as you can see, now I have taken some of the root cover up and I covered the root of this piece as well so that you can actually see. Now when I put it on, I typically comb my hair. So I had a little bit of an oops. The uh, I recorded that entire clip without realizing I was not in the frame through most of it. So I thought I would re-record it because I'm not in the frame. So I'm going to try to remember and piece this together. This is the wrap I'm using and I am going to be using the Raquel Welch. This is part of the Transformation Collection and this is Chameleon. And um, I don't know if you can see, it has a really pretty lace front and it has sort of a lace parting area or um, monofilament that you can really see. It's a very natural looking piece. I have not plucked it. I think I might have said that in the other video. I have not plucked it um, at all, but that would be something that I would tend to do. So normally what I do when I prep my hair for a piece is I do a little bit of a back combing and I have already sprayed some dry shampoo. This is just the Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo that I'm going to use. And I've done a little bit of topic on my, uh, my lighter areas. And if I need more texture, I use Big Sexy Hair and I will put that on. So the biggest thing is trying to decide where I want to lay my my top piece so 
normally I don't normally follow along in a pat and I don't normally pin it all together in the back until I have positioned it so excuse me while I take a look here and um, because it's important that if you you know that you try to position this correctly or the way that you feel comfortable I have hair um, you know in the front so I can pull some of my bangs out that obviously makes it a lot easier for me because if I didn't then I would have to put the piece down by my forehead and then blend in the lace front so I think that this is pretty good let me go ahead and clip it in now if I was just going to wear this out to work then I would have to do some styling you know to the piece I wouldn't just sit it on top of my head like this without doing some styling and at a quick glance you can see that it's, it doesn't really blend in this has been up in a clip so it has what I perceive to be clip hair right I perceive this to be clip hair right it's up in a clip and uh, so yeah it has a little bit of clip hair <laughs> so what I normally do right is I decide am I going to put my hair up I should take these out sorry am I gonna put my hair up or am I gonna wear it down if I'm gonna wear it down I'm gonna do some styling with this you know and with my bio hair if I'm gonna wear it up then I do the same thing in a sense that I'm just combing through and I have a little bag of goodies right that I have in here so I'm gonna be looking for the clip I want It's probably gonna be this smaller one and then I'm gonna be looking for one of my black bands and I just use one of this I don't have I don't have a ton of hair as far as having a big ponytail so I just want to try to get this up as neat as I can and I probably will have to you know bring it up a couple of times and I try to bring it up higher but I, again, I have very short, skimpy ponytail, right? So I'm gonna take a quick look and see how this looks, pardon me. So I can see some lines where the top piece and my hair are blending, but that's okay right now. It doesn't really much matter to me. I'm gonna be pinning a lot of this back anyways. So now I have that, I'm gonna take my it depends on which one I use, but this one has, I have to go double. So I'm going to wrap this around my little stumpy ponytail. And I do mean stumpy ponytail, right? And then I have it where I think I like it. I'm going to clip. Now I haven't seen this, so I really don't know how it's going to look yet, but I'm going to clip that in just like I just did. And then I'm just going to take a quick look. And I happen to like messy um, a lot so messy is good for me so if I want I take one of my combs I have a couple of these different combs most of them are broken right and I just take it and I bring it as close as I want to the clip now you don't even have to do this you, you can use a, a bobby pen if you prefer but I usually just clip it back and I have another one and I have smaller ones and I have bigger ones so I have a few that I have and they're not uh, they're not expensive ones so they tend to uh, break easy so then I have it like that I'm gonna take a quick look and that's okay I can see the hair right here right and I usually just will then tuck that in a little bit and sometimes I'll take a bobby pin, I hope I'm in frame, I'll take a bobby pin and I'll piece it in some more if I really need. And then I'll take a bobby pin and I'll pin all around the top. Now because I like to have some of my hair down, I usually pull my hair out like that, right? And again, I can make this as big and as messy. <laughs> as I want and I do like it I do like it kind of funky and messy 
So, um, again, I apologize for having to sort of recreate the tail end of the video, but when I played it back, I mean, there were times it was in frame, but most of the time it was like completely, or you could see like a part like that, and I'm like going, because I'm not looking, right? I didn't notice it. So I'm gonna piece this together, and I'm gonna hope it works somehow and that it doesn't look ridiculous but this is pretty well how I do my messy bun and my and I'm using again the Raquel Welch I have a couple of toppers I'd use them all the same way um, I happen to like the transformations. I will probably pluck some of the hairs out of this. And the other thing that I do too is I, you can use a, uh, a bronzer, not a bronzer, but a contour, or you can use a eyeshadow, but you can use almost anything and you can darken up where your own line, your own hairline is to kind of blend it in if you want. And then you can just play with the fibers. Now I have cut the bangs. I've cut the fringe part of this part that comes down. I've cut so that it blends in more um, shorter, but I like longer fringe. I don't want to have anything super short because I think it looks ridiculous on me. So I can see which one is my, um, you know, which, which part is my hair, which part isn't. So I do have to apologize. I do have an eye infection again going on with my dry eye, so I'm squinting a little bit. Yeah, anyways, that's it. That's how I apply my topper, and I'm hoping when I piece this together, it makes sense. So anyways, thank you all so much for all your support, and if you have any other video suggestions on uh, wigs, hair pieces, let me know.